That's where you find all your veggies, fruits, your seafoods, and even your dairy products. So first things first, if you have heart disease or you know someone, they need to lose weight. So being thin or even underweight, normal or underweight, will give you 10 extra years on your life. And so what a lot of people do, they count calories to try to lose that weight, and that doesn't give you the right nutrients that you need. So here in this produce section is where you find all the nutrients you need to be able to lose that weight and stay healthy. So let's go ahead and walk on through and I'll show you what you need to get. Alright, the first thing you need to get is dark greens. So you can go ahead and welcome yourself to the packaged greens or even the ones where you can find them in those. Whenever it comes to packaged greens, go ahead and look at them close and because most of them are going to be pretty wet and see if they're mold or they have anything else growing in there and that's how you know that you can go ahead and buy it. So all the fruits are all packages, they're all wet, so you got to make sure that they don't have any mold or anything like that. And also what makes it easier with fruits and veggies on what you need to buy is by season. So go ahead and double check on what season your fruits or the vegetables are in, and that's when you know what to get. Alright, whenever you're going to get your produce, I say go organic. Um, organic, they don't grow with pesticides or herbicides, and also they're locally grown. So who doesn't want to support your local farm and ranches? Okay, so another um, little tip on how you find like, what veggies and fruits you need to get is by firm. So go ahead and just touch them. If they're a little firm, a little soft, that's whenever you know they're ready. Alright, so if you have heart disease or you know someone, the first thing that they'll need to get on is a fish and veggie diet. So shrimp. Shrimp is the cockroach of the sea, so they literally eat trash. So whenever you're going to get any sort of fish, go ahead and go to the fish market, and that's when you know it's the right one to get. Alright, if you have heart disease, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to avoid all red meat. So any turkey, poultry, pork, beef, avoid. And also too, Another product to avoid is cheese, so really any dairy products that makes your heart clogs it up with all the preservatives that they package it in and it's a mucus forming food, so it even give you more mucus clogging up your membranes and just making it so much worse, more worse for you to go ahead and just go on with the game. Okay, so another milk alternative that you, can't, that you can have is almond milk. They have unsweetened, sweetened, they even have coconut milk. Find an alternative. You can have soy milk, which I, mean, I don't recommend. That go ahead and get almond. Milk. And like I said, avoid dairy products. They are made with all these extra preservatives. They inject the cows with extra hormones so they can able to keep on pumping milk because they're naturally not grown to go ahead and pump millions and gallons of milk every day. All right. So another thing. If you have heart disease or you know someone that has heart disease, they need to avoid all processed foods. So that's any foods that you find in the middle of the grocery store. Alright, so another tip. So let's say you're feeling better and you want to get some cereal for the kids or anything like that. How can you tell by what ingredients to get or what cereal? Look at the ingredients list. Whatever ingredients list is shorter, that's what you know to get. So another thing for people with heart disease, even people trying to stay healthy, what you need to avoid is the artificial flavors and sugars. So anything that is even made with yogurt or gives like the cheese and macaroni color, that is not good for you. It's artificial, it eats away your bones, it's bad for your heart and even your brain and can later even turn into Alzheimer's and dementia. Alright, and another tip for healthy living is to go ahead and avoid bread. So anything white, brown, avoid. Whenever it comes to wheat and other kind of breads, they go ahead and heat up and take away all the nutrients that the, that the grains have from, right from the beginning. So your best bet is to go ahead and get the grains before they're heated up and made into a product like these turn into loaves of bread. 
Alright, and then the greens that I was talking about earlier, um, what to get, this is where you need to get all your greens and nuts, and they even have dried fruit. So this is where you find your protein that you can get. Alright, so if you have heart disease, the what you need to do is go ahead and get on supplements so you have your CoQ10 and your Omega-3s. And the CoQ10 helps a healthy heart and a cardiovascular, um, all that good stuff in your body to go ahead and keep it going smoothly and even starts chiseling off all the bad stuff that you have going on in there. And Omega-3 helps your heart and brain. So you can go ahead and get Omega-3 through your fish that you can go ahead and eat you know, about three times a week, and if not, you have your supplements to go ahead and substitute what you're missing out of your diet. All right, so for a quick recap, go ahead and start at the perimeter of the grocery store, and that's where you can go ahead and grab up your fruits and greens. And while you're there, you can go ahead and go organic. It's free of chemicals, and you're able to even support your local farm and ranches. Also, Avoid red meats. Go ahead and switch to fresh fish. And avoid all processed foods, foods found in the middle of the aisles at the store. Also avoid dairy products. And go ahead and grab up almond milk as the alternative to cow's milk. And when it comes to breads, go ahead and avoid all gluten, but pick up some seeds, nuts, and grains. And as supplements, you can go ahead and grab up your CoQ10 and Omega-3s. And thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.